As the only African American in the Senate who was just sworn in today, Republican Tim Scott is already falling victim to one of the left's most predictable and pathetic smear tactics, and that being the race card. NAACP President Ben Jealous recently went on national television declaring that Scott and other Republicans do not believe in civil rights. Oh, really? Listen to this. We have congressmen now going to be a new senator like Tim Scott. He's black. He gets an F on our report card every year. There is nothing but room for him to improve. Well, and we would hope that he would not continue to get Fs on the NAACP report card. We have Republicans who believe in civil rights. Um, you know, the, the, uh, unfortunately, he is not one of them. And unfortunately, his party, as you know, uh, has, has really gone after so-called rhinos, as they call them. Uh, you know, these Republicans who believe in, in uh, civil rights again and again. Here with reaction to this and much more, Fox News contributor Deneen Borelli and from the American Values Institute, Alexis McGill Johnson, does not believe in civil rights. This happens to every conservative who's African American. When is this going to stop? It's not. I think. First of all, let me just say, for Senator Scott, it actually is a huge deal. He is the seventh senator in, in the history, United States history on a day that we're celebrating 20 women. Why insult women, him? Why attack him? Why lie about him? now in the, in the Senate. And I think that we, have to, we actually do have to celebrate. I disagree a little bit with Ben in the fact that, that we do have to celebrate the fact that he is there. He's coming from a state that still flies the Confederate flag over its capital. And that in itself, I think, is a, is a bit of a contradiction for African Americans. Sean, Tim Scott is the worst nightmare to the black black liberal establishment, and that's comprised of NAACP, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, and others. He's a black Tea Party conservative. They don't like it, and he shatters their lies uh, about the, the racism that, that is running rampant in our country because all they really care about is money and power. That is why they do what they do. But this is Clarence Thomas. This is Condi It's Price. over this and is, over. This is you. This is every right. African-American conservative lives through this. Where are liberals like yourself to say, this is morally wrong? But I, what I want to do is I want to separate the fact that Tim Scott, as a, as a representative, and I think it is good to have African Americans in the GOP, I think both parties need to be fighting for the African American vote altogether, right? I don't think that we should be just a Republican in one governor party. Appointed but I think when a GOP has not reached out to African Americans in a way, when it's been the party of voter ID, when it's been party of, of policies that Tim, Scott, sure. supports, that you know Tim Scott supports, that Tim Scott supports Tea Party policies. What's really warped? Point, what's like the, these Tea Party These Tea Party policies of free market fundamentalism that never trickle down to African Americans. That's what I think no, that's, that's, that's a not real problem. The, left that plays the, the only right. way it trickles down. down. This is warped on the NAACP's end because they're saying that Tim Scott doesn't care about civil rights and they gave him a failing grade. You he doesn't former, care about a path to citizenship. Have, on, one one time. Robert Byrd, former senator, Klansman. who got a, a, a former Klansman, who got a 100% rating. He was a, 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 a exalted oh, side. There's racism in the, the Democratic, Democratic Party. Uh, there's racism so in the Democratic the Party. There's racism. With, uh, Robert Byrd from the uh, look, NAACP. Been, we, right, but he got 100% rating. He got 100%. That's right. What I'm right. saying is that that there are he policies. He got 100% rating. There, there are there are policies and no outrage. that African Americans do you agree with that? need to have to have to vet. Hang on a second. Hang on. With, with the you free market. I want to get this in. We just can't you deal with that. with that. Let me Black show people. you guys he agrees with it. Samuel L. Jackson in an interview tries to get the interviewer to use the N-word. Watch this. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding the usage of, uh, of the N-word in this movie. And, and no, nobody, none. The word would be... Oh, I don't want to say it. Why not? I don't like to say it. Have you ever said it? No, sir. Try it. I don't like to say it. Try it. it. Really? Seriously? We're not going to have this conversation unless you say it. You want to move on to another question? Okay. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like, I don't want to say oh, it. Oh, come on. Can, will you say it? No. no. <laughs> That's not the same thing. Reaction. He's another member of the black liberal establishment. I mean, come on, leave the reporter alone. What he didn't want to talk about was the movie, how violent it was, and all of the horrible language that is displayed in that movie. Oh my God, it's, that's it's a why he said what he did. revenge fantasy for slaves in the same way Inglorious Bastards. Was he didn't want to talk about the, the movie. Jewish that's why he went against after the, the reporter. Holocaust. And the reason he was provoking around the N word, and the reason why, why Quentin Tarantino was provoking, he's only because, trying to because do his because job. race is actually an emotional conversation as much as it is a he structural. He did not want to talk about the movie. What he was trying to do was. He didn't want to, to talk about the movie. That is why, why he was provoking is, the reporter. Is so provocative. Why is there the double standard with liberals and conservatives? It's all the time, Sean. This is what we're going to see from now until who knows when, until we yeah. continue to push back on it. Urban in Chicago, if you're, hang on a second, urban in Chicago, 
Those words are racist now. That's stupid. If you're a conservative, it's, it's ridiculous. Stupid. If but, you're using but meanwhile, it to you have you have a real community. racial attack no, against Tim Scott. You're using real it to racism signal and not this nonsense. Absolutely. You know what? Signal when it's real racism. We gotta go. All right, guys. Good to see you both. Happy New Year.